Welcome. In a previous video, I took a look at this ingenious ECS1112 FP 8 port gigabit managed switch. And this switch was provided to me by Ingenious, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to this switch on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link in the description to my Ingenious playlist where you can find my previous videos on this switch and on other Ingenious hardware. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the procedure for adding this switch to the Ingenious cloud. The Ingenious Ingenious Cloud is a centralized network management tool that allows you to configure and manage access points and switches and things like that all from the cloud. So I have the interface pulled up for the Ingenious switch right here and I'll go to the cloud and I'll log in there to my account. I'll hit sign in and I currently have one switch configured. So I'll click on the little building icon in the bottom left. I'll go to inventory and license. I'll click on register device and now we need to supply the serial number of the device. So I'll copy that from the summary page. You can also find that on the bottom of the switch itself. Paste that in. I'll hit register. It says success. I'll hit done. So now I can add this switch to my network. I'll click on the manage icon on the left and I'll go to switches. I'll click on add from inventory. I'll select the switch. I'll hit apply. And this will add it to my network. Okay, so I've waited a few minutes, and if we click on this now, it's giving us a status of it. So it's showing the IP address and the WAN. So now we can see which ports are being used. The green is one gigabit, the orange is 100 megabit. We can see which ports are using PoE. We have PoE on two and three. I'm not sure why port eight is 100 megabit. I'll have to look into that. Maybe the cable I'm using is not very good. And port nine is the uplink to the router. So at this point, you can go over to the gear icon and you can go down to the switch settings, VLAN settings, etc and do the configuration on this switch. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.